Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. I'm Peter Moxling, Keeper Emeritus, and last time we finally did our first, like, actual Grey Phoenix mission, and it went totally fine. Like, there, there was a little bit of a worry of if we were going to get any extra scars, but, um, yeah, we're good. Actually, uh, while I'm here, let me check the settings. Uh, options. Just to check that. Wait, difficulty. Okay, it is, it is set to half heal. I wonder if the plot encounters just ignore that option. Like, it's supposed to be difficult so you don't get to heal or something like that. Huh. If you know the answer, then let me know, because I'm actually, cause I'm actually kind of confused. And we have six uh, days until downtown gets its next opening. Let's go ahead and promote God, or Godmother, yeah. Oh, I thought you were on your next level. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so you get your last stand, which is if Godmother is, is unimpaired and takes enough damage to begin bleeding out, they are instead reduced to 1 HP and given a turn to immediately after the current turn, one use per mission. Or, Flush, takes a shot at an enemy, forcing them to reposition, does not do damage, one turn cooldown. And just last stand is the one I'm more likely to use effectively, unfortunately. I'm just trying to think. Flush. Basically, I'm interested in flush if I set up an Overwatch trap. Because if the shot does no damage, then the movement is the main thing you're do you're going for. And that's either to trigger Overwatch or to move them into a different cover. If they're in full cover, then sure, that could be useful. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Last Stand is a bit of a trap. I feel like it is the kind of thing where it's only useful if your campaign is already in a bit of a death spiral. But when do I want to use Flush where I don't just want to take a shot? Basically when the enemy is far enough away that Godmother's shotgun isn't gonna do much? forcing them to reposition, so there's no indication of any kind of aim percentage or something. It's just, it happens. No damage, one turn cooldown. I'm gonna take Last Stand because I suck at this game. I feel like Flush is the better player's move, though. I don't love it. Okay, so, modular shotgun, or not modular, enhanced shotguns done in one day, that'll probably cost 150 credits, so if we can get more credits, that'd be good. We have enough Illyrium at the moment to do another research, just not one of the ones that I want to do, and we're getting more Illyrium the following day. We do not have any, uh, any characters that aren't assigned to stuff, so we can't just uh, randomly put Godmother to training to remove the scar yet. Part of me feels like we could probably put Godmother into training, Terminal in, because I don't really care about the spec ops as much, but that feels like wasted time and I don't want that. Oh. You're just open. Okay, what do you... I can't get this stuff, obviously, but what do you do? Advanced expanded mag, as usual. Uh, oh, clip size plus two. Yep, advanced, that makes sense. Impact frame. This weapon upgrade will increase the damage of subdue attacks. Oh my god, yes. So your subdues go from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. I mean, again, I don't have enough intel to, to do this, but that is actually pretty useful. Like, okay, no, that wouldn't work in Cher on Cherub because his subdue is replaced by charged bash. But on, like, Zephyr or someone who's already a melee character? Maybe. I haven't used Zeph Zephyr enough to really know. We've connected Grey Phoenix to a recent spate of alien abductions in City 31. Find out why Grey Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. Okay. Waiting six days on that. Illyrium Smuggler gets us 55 intel. 
Sure, why not? Nothing, nothing, nothing. 40 Illyrium. Okay, this also means that we have no way to get credits at the moment. Okay, since this is off cooldown, let's go ahead and reduce unrest in Old Town. Then let's go ahead and get the Illyrium, because the market's going to be gone tomorrow anyway, so the 55 intel isn't as useful, and we're about to be out of Illyrium anyway. I'm trying to think, is that too short-term thinking? Because we do have Illyrium on Spec Ops, uh, we have enough Illyrium for our next research. 40 is not enough to go too far beyond, though, because it's 55 for the next level of guns and anything. In fact, this let, uh, because this is a situation, this actually lets us uh, start up our next uh, gun upgrade immediately. In fact, that was 40, 50, 60, 75. Six days for the pistols is probably non-tenable. But we almost have enough delirium to actually do the master class the master class pistol before even doing the second main mission for Grey Phoenix. Probably not going to happen, but it is hilarious. Let's go ahead and do this. An anonymous tip suggests a nondescript apartment is a stash house connected to our current investigation. 3-1-PD requested Reclamation's backup for their, for their planned raid. 40 Illyrium, go ahead. Old Town to 1. Uh, unrest? Oh. Downtown up to one, Old Town down to one. 40 Illyrium, enhanced shotguns. Thankfully, there was no opposition at the stash house. Still, 31 PD is grateful for the assist. I have more background on the insurgents behind the mayor's attack. Just after the war, City 31 reached out to nearby resistance networks to help keep the peace. The insurgents belonged to a cell in the Shrike network. That network provided security before 3-1-PD existed. They left when the Global Council cleared aliens and hybrids for return to society. Hmm, couldn't stomach protecting the people they fought in the war? Seems that way. Since 2037, they've kept to the outskirts and swapped war stories at their watering holes. Sounds like a dead end. Maybe. Something drove them to carry out this attack. Keep your eyes open. Okay, in just one moment, actually, there's a thing that I want to do really quickly. And luckily the game didn't, like, pop down or anything, so that is good. You. You. There. Okay. Hopefully that made absolutely no difference, but just in case, I want to make sure that that thing was di was different. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. That... Spec Ops Idol. Oh! Oh, you can do all of these? And it's idle because Zephyr isn't doing anything at the moment. Okay. Noted. And now we do have enough Illyrium for this. Uh, let's go ahead and get, and get enhanced assault rifles so that we can up Verge's damage then. One fifty-five, yeah. Okay. In that case, we really, really want to get credits. You're getting Illyrium. Assembly three days. Okay, you still have the scar. No new character yet. Fifty-five Intel minus two unrest. And your unrest looked like you were going up by two. Uh, why did that go away? So that's plus two days on this, minus two unrest, 40 credits. 65 credits minus two unrest, probably that then. Yeah, because it's so weird to just be completely avoiding the missions at all costs. Why are you like this? And we're probably doing this then. Unrest is looking okay at the moment. Maybe maybe because there was new stuff and it didn't clear out uh, the way it should have. Hmm. Okay, 
So get 65 credits, gets us well above the 150 threshold, or 155, whatever it was. Uh, supply. 155, for some reason. Plus one damage for shotguns. It feels like so little when you put it that way. But it's literally the tier 2 shotgun, so it's better. Okay, well, uh... I know what mission we're doing. No one's, like, injured or need to do more stuff. As we get more characters, we can put them into spec ops to constantly have more income for the three in for the three resources. That's good to know. You know, it doesn't cost anything to do this. Uh, no, 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 wait. I, I was about to put like Godmother into spec ops or something just to check if it worked. No. Well, there's, oh, there's only one slot, so we can't put put someone in all three. Okay, I'm just stupid. Or. More accurately, to be a little less uh, self-degradating, self uh, I am unused to a lot of the systems of this game. Okay, let's go ahead and just do the mission here. Because technically that's better, and it's more of the main plot-ish, because it's the mission. But I want this to stay as something we don't need to do yet. Oh, that's the mission that, for a different faction, ended our first campaign. I'm okay with that taking five days. Okay, difficulty, difficult. Word of an abandoned tech cache wasn't just rumors. Unknown hostiles are, re are already on the scene. Prepare yourselves for a firefight. If a hostile force will cause imminent harm, you'll need to stop them by any means necessary. As always, subduing targets is preferable. We learn far more from captures than corpses. You know what? Back up a moment. We're getting 65 out of this. 65, 120 is 185. 155 puts us down to 30. Oh, it's 50! Is anything 30? We can get a med kit. Oh, yay! <laughs> oh! Ah, fine. I tried to be intelligent. Yep, nothing new. Uh, just in case. Make items available. There, everyone's still equipped with stuff. Good. Okay, so you still have crit down. You're still at level 1 scar. Good. Because we're not going to be able to get through uh, the... Of the alternate doors. We are, however, on a single encounter, so we can use all of our breach abilities and such. So, Godmother, Cherub, Verge, Blue Blood, so that we can use the uh, tactical scanner, target analyzer. Yep. All, all, all our items are allocated. Let's go. Operation Virtual Dawn. Oop, oop. Hostiles prepping to move. Sweep and clear before they can. Only got the one. Okay, I'm glad I didn't waste my resources then. First unit does plus three damage. Hell yes. First unit will be rooted for one turn. Ah, shit. It's specifically the second one, huh? I am very confused as to how that works. Less important then because it's all damage up front. I just want to make sure to get the target analyzer out there. Very confused by the fact that it needs to be position two or something by the looks of it. I guess it's because first person kicks the door open, then he or they throw it in. Breaching! Throwing grenade! Okay, Alpha Strike. Since we're going to be using all of our Breach abilities, I don't actually care about taking this guy, this thing out too quickly. You're doing plus three damage, I just realized. You know, in that case, yes, take out the Python. Good. What's your percentage on the Dominator? 73? 
Go for the 94 here because you're probably going to take two shots to kill. Can kill you in one. Uh, surprise means you're happening lower in the timeline, so sure. Didn't really look like a hit, but sure. All right, I, I keep forgetting that Phalanx takes up his action. Eh, sure. I already committed to it. And Lancer. Against you, so we can do a good chunk of damage. Looks fine to me. My oh, that might be annoying if you weren't standing next to explosives. Yep, rooted. Let's go ahead and move up Verge, I guess. You should be fairly easy to take out. How should you? Can't quite hit that one. Okay. Go ahead and team up Blue Blood because Blue Blood, ha Blue Blood has the uh, double shot. Kind of trying to see if I can do this in one round. What the hell is that? Huh. Okay, we really want to take down the Adder or the Dominator. I have no idea what Blue Blood's aim is going to be is going to be compared to hers. So let's just try for the 74 because it's equal odds, but higher crit chance. 18% better chance of killing, I guess. No, not 18% eight, not better, just 18%. It's guaranteed to kill anyway. I think it is literally the same, actually. Good. Drop the hostile. Sorry, you. That one's on me. The story ended is interesting. That removes part of your cover and does a good amount of damage to you. But it also leaves the Dominator or like alive. Verge is here, and so is not going to get a double shot off. Uh, you get double shot on you, basically. Let's go ahead and trust that, that the Disorient just makes your aim utterly shit. Okay. Double move. Nice. You're about to regret the hell out of that. Stupor you first because you're the most annoying to deal with, so let's see if we can get a full stun off. Good. This thing gets your aim up. Wait, there are three enemies? Oh, hi there. Kinda missed that you existed. With that amount of distance, I'm going to trust that it's that he's not, like, going to do much. Let's just go ahead and get the kill. Good. Style pacifier. You could theoretically move over here. That's still not a flank, though, so sure. Full cover. Genetic shield. Can you shield self? You can. Okay, sure. Now that's protection. Closing on target. Hi. Target weapon in sight. Is the kinetic? It does. Okay. Full out. Okay, all seems good to me. Go for that. Good. Deflected off armor. And that's Overwatch removed as well. Cherub can get the can get the subdue there, I hope. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yeah, if Cherub and Blue Blood have at least generally similar uh movements, then that should be okay. Move over here. Oh, you have Dead Eye, right. 70. Dead eye is at 60. Your normal shot. 
five would require max damage to get a kill, but it's not super unlikely. Versus Deadeye, 10% less aim, but guaranteed kill on hit. Sure, sure, Verge is good back up there. I think I need more practice. Yeah, that was like 10 feet away, my dude. Go for that. Oh man, I'm out. Shield bash. Is, yeah, shield, no, charge bash. Shield bash, I think, is a Dark Souls thing. Made the arrest. Okay, flawless mission. Granted, I am very much doing missions that are not as difficult as they could be, but honestly, I'll take the wins. I think this might be a better way of playing, at least for me. Tech cash secured. The tech is bagged and flagged. It's off to a tech vault where it will stay out of the wrong hands. Lawless. 60% uh, chance of the 20 intel. Let's hope for that. Equal amount killed and captured. Okay, six enemies total. Two rounds. Solid. Okay, 65 credits, minus 2 Unrest in Highland, 20 Intel, solid, yay. Unrest in Anglers point to 4, Unrest in Downtown to 2, Unrest in, in Renova Heights to 4, Unrest in Highland Square to 0. Okay, stuff's getting up there, admittedly. And completed spec up, Illyrium Sting. And from the from the City 31 Tourism Council, if you have nowhere else to, else, if you go nowhere else during your time in City 31, do take time to visit Highland Square. With convenient access to both the local and regional travel, the square is the best that City 31's revitalized industry has to offer. New products, locally made. Come preview what the global economy could be. Yep, both of them on four. I know you don't talk about the invasion, but what about after? Were you some kind of interrogator? Not at first. I was assigned to a scientist with broad popular appeal. What'd you do? I ensured he spoke of our arrival in a positive light, emphasized the benefits of bowing down to the elders. That's kind of gross. If we failed, plan B was to purge the planet of all sentient life. Verge, you're a gross hero. Not from that. Less wrong is still wrong. I accept that now. Okay. I feel like... Plan B should not have been eradicate all sentient life because the elders found humans, which apparently our DNA is amazing for some reason. But I appreciate that kind of bounty, that kind of banter. Anyway, that's it for the mission. That's the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and deal with that YouTube stuff for a million times. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your day, and hope to see you in the next one where we will. I have no idea. We're gonna try not to lose the campaign. Same as usual. <laughs> see you in the next one. Bye.